Hey there, today I'm making another engineering tree Christmas card. For more information, head over to my blog, melcrafting.blogspot.com. So previously I made an engineering tree Christmas card using engineering stamps inside a triangle to make up a tree and a sentiment stamp at the bottom for the stump. I decided that I could improve on that design and here's how I made it. The first step was to grab a piece of cardboard and make a cardboard mask that was exactly the same size as the triangle on the previous card because I particularly like the size of that triangle I used for the tree. I then used that cardboard cutout to mask around using washi tape on the new card front for my new design. And once again I'll be using that Merry Christmas sentiment at the bottom as the tree stump. Now the first step is to blend the background, which I'm going to use these blending brushes I bought off AliExpress, which I'll put a link to the review of when I get it up on YouTube. The colours I'm using for my blended background are all archival inks, three colours, three different green colours, sap green, leaf green and olive. The first colour I'm going to start off with is the light green. And I'm going to shade it down from the lightest green to the darkest green. And I'm just going to put down a post-it note here to make sure that I don't go over the edge of that master triangle and onto areas of the card front that I don't want colour to appear. I'm just going to speed up the video as I do the blending for the background. So now that I'm happy with the background, it's on to the next step of making this card. Now here I'm using my stamping platform, which you can see that I've attached my card front to. And I'm going to arrange the engineering tool stamps inside the blended triangle. Now these are stamps from a stamp set called Engineer's Rule, made by Ultranew. And the stamping platform I'm using today is a We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press. Now I'm just arranging these stamps as close as possible with as many of the engineering tools from the stamp set as I can fit in. I'm just carefully getting as many stamps as I can into that triangle. I'll now close the door on my stamping platform to collect all those stamps rubbing it with my sleeve to make sure I get a good contact on the back of all those stamps. Now carefully lift the door to my stamping platform. There was one stamp that almost detached itself, I just carefully put that back in. Press them down, make sure they're stuck down. And that none of them have moved. I just replace the door to check. Now I'm going to use my Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in Jet Black to ink the stamps up and stamp down the images onto my card front. I'm pressing it down and once again I rub it. Oh, so I was a bit concerned that I might, um, I'm just going to place a post-it note down to cover up the rest of the note card around the edges of the master triangle. I'm just a bit worried that I'm going to stamp into areas that I don't want the images to appear. So I just put those post-it notes down and then I press down on 
these names. Now I do ink this up and stamp this down a few times to get a good impression. So you'll see me do that shortly. Now sometimes when you do this, um, the stamps or the manufacturing of the stamps lifts some of the stamps higher than others and so sometimes you'll have to remove your outer edge stamps or your inner edge stamps whatever's holding it up to get a good impression of other stamps in this case I managed to get a good impression of all the stamps but in the past um, sometimes the outer edge stamps are a little bit thicker than the inner ones or the vice versa depending on your stamp set and I've had to remove those ones leaving it up to get a good image of the other ones that aren't getting a good impression right so I'm pretty happy with that I'm now going to clean off my stamps and I'm just using a baby wipe here to wipe off the ink on each of my stamps And just one baby wipe I find is enough for this number of stamps. Now I'm just going to take that small screw stamp and put it on an acrylic block. And then bring back my Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in Jet Black. Just removing those post-it notes. And I'm just going to use that small screw stamp to fill in the gaps in my engineering tree so you'll see that I just stamp a few times that small screw to fill in the gaps and I rotate the stamp as well to get a bit of difference unfortunately my camera battery ran out so I couldn't show you the full stamping or the stamping of the sentiment but here it is here and you can see that the blending of the colors came in really well as well I use stays on and saddle brown to stamp the Merry Christmas um, sentiment from this stamp set which I think is clean line Christmas stamp set from Simon C stamp I'm not sure but I think that's the stamp set I decide I'm going to mount this onto a green card base and I, that I want it to look like there's a border around the card front so I'm just going to quickly um, trim off a strip of cardboard from each edge of the card front to get a green border when I attach the card front to the card base So I'm just using a paper trimmer here. Of course if you have a really accurate paper trimmer, sorry I'm just using guillotine here, but if you have a accurate paper trimmer then you can actually measure it correctly and get it exact. I'm now going to, so now I'm happy with the size, I'm going to attach it to my card base using double sided tape. As you can see here, I actually, my card front, I made a mistake on the other side and I've just turned it over and reused it. So, I don't like to waste materials. Just removing the release paper on the back of the double sided tape now so I can place it down onto the card base. To make sure I try and get a even border around the card front when I place this down. All right, just press it down. Make sure I get a good contact with the tape, and that's how I make my blended engineering tree Christmas card. For more information, head over to my blog, malcrafting.blogspot.com. And thanks for watching.